welcome to Polk Today. I'm your host, Brian Lacey, and today is Thursday, November 6th, 2014, and we start off today's show with a look at the Polk County Sheriff's Office efforts in keeping the county clean. The Environmental Marine Unit is responsible for the investigation of unlawful dumping cases that include a wide variety of materials from household garbage to chemical spills. A close working relationship with federal, state and local environmental compliance agencies is essential to the protection of our natural resources. Katie Yoxo with Keep Polk County Beautiful met up with Sergeant Harry Seymour of the Environmental Unit and Talk Trash. Joining us today is Sergeant Harry Seymour with Polk County Sheriff's Office Environmental Crimes Unit. Good morning, Harry. Good morning. Thanks for joining me today. Can you tell me what you do for the Sheriff's Office? I supervise the Environmental Unit and we uh, investigate illegal dumpers throughout the county. Okay, so what should people do if they notice somebody either pulled over an illegal dumping or they've been a victim of it? Contact the sheriff's office where we can investigate. Okay, so they would just call the main sheriff's number and they, they would then put them in touch with the environmental crimes unit? That or they can call the environmental unit um, directly at 534-7205. 534-7205 is yes. your main number? Litter is not just ugly, it also can cause environmental hazards, health issues, and many more problems, not to mention it's illegal. What are the Florida litter fines? For a civil citation, it would be $162.50. Anything over 500 pounds would be felony. In between 15 and 500 pounds, it would be a misdemeanor criminal. Can property owners do something to deter illegal dumping or to help protect themselves against illegal dumping? The main thing they could do is if they find an illegal dump site, get it cleaned up as soon as possible because if they don't it invites more dumping. I know that as a property owner if somebody dumps on your property you're essentially responsible for cleaning that up yourself and that can be expensive and that's where Keep Hope County Beautiful can step in and help assist you with your cleanup or point you in the right direction. Thanks Harry for being here today. Thank you. For more information on illegal dumping or litter crimes, contact polksheriff.org or you can visit our website at keeppolkcountybeautiful.org. I'm Katie Oxall and thank you for doing your part to keep Polk County beautiful. Now, if you see illegal dumping along Polk County roadways, give the Sheriff's Office Environmental Crimes Unit a call at 863-534-7205. You know, the newest feature here on Polk today is Polk and Round with Hank Longo. Now, Hank takes us throughout Polk County to its many places to go and people to see. This week's stop takes us to Winter Haven to check out the music scene, a historic venue, and remember a legend in the music world. <laughs> Hi, Hank Longo for PGTV, and I'm in downtown Winter Haven, and I'm at the Graham Parsons Dairy Down Project. Now, Graham Parsons, back in the, in the 70s, was one of the great country rock pioneers, and this venue is where he started to perform and kick off his I'm with Anita Strang, who is the director of Main Street Winter Haven, that's been so instrumental in this Dairy Down project. And uh, Graham Parsons is just a great musician, and really, for what he's done, it's kind of hard to believe it started all here in Winter Haven. Absolutely, it did. Um, Graham was born here in Winter Haven. Um, he moved to Waycross, Georgia for about 12 years, and then back here in Winter Haven, and really in his early teens started engaging in music, and this building behind us was a building that um, was very much a personal project for Graham. Um, Graham and the Shilohs, which was his band in the day, had traveled to New York and done a show, a very, very small thing, at a place called The Bitter Inn, a very small bar in Greenwich Village, I believe. And he came back and said, you know what, I, let's do that here. And um, Bob Parsons, his, his uh, stepfather, um, had the building, uh, Graham named the building, Graham chose the theming of the building. You have to remember this was at the time of the British invasion. 
so everything about the building had that old English folk song. There were, you know, Midsummer Night's Dream was uh, one of the names of the drinks that you could get, and you know, the Dairy Dog, uh, Dairy Burgers and Down Dogs, those type things. So. He, you know, it's a very personal project for him, which is really, really nice. And what he created here was really cool because at that time, these smaller team circuits were very popular in Florida. So many bands, up and coming bands, and a little bit more established bands uh, would move through Florida playing these little clubs. So we felt like, um, you know, saving this, um, saving what is part of our downtown that makes our downtown unique is um, one of the things that we want to make sure we do. Uh, the Main Street program focuses on economic development of a downtown district through historic preservation whenever possible. And um, this building is just perfect. This is one of them. This is and, one of them. There's going to be a, a concert tonight, and yep. this is all a fundraiser to help restore. Yep, restore the, the building. Down. Yep, restore the building. That's it. Well, Anita, thank you. We're going to go yeah. inside, and we're rock and rolling tonight, and it's going to be a great evening here celebrating Grand Parsons and the Dairy Down. on top of the events here at Polk today includes a look at the weather for the latest forecast conditions and a look at what's happening in the tropics. We take you to the Emergency Operations Center with EOC coordinator Billy Abernathy. Good morning to you, Billy. Thanks, Brian. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Bill Abernathy, Polk County Emergency Management from the Emergency Operations Center. And this is your weather brief for Thursday, November 6, 2014. For today, we can expect mostly sunny skies, high of 85, low of 63, humidity of 97%. It'll feel a little bit muggier today. Uh, winds will be from the west, uh, northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. No precipitation is uh, expected today. UV, UV index is on is 6 on a scale from 1 to 10. For tomorrow, Friday, we can expect mostly sunny skies, high of 79. Low of 55, winds will be from the north northwest at 8 to 10 miles per hour. As this front comes through about 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, this front is going to come through. There's going to be no precipitation with it, and eventually it's going to stall right up over South Florida like we uh, alluded to a little bit yesterday. And uh, as this system, that low pressure system that's down in the Caribbean right now is going to back this front up as a warm front which is going to create a little bit of our shower activity for Saturday and for Sunday. I'll get into that in just a minute. Uh, the highs for tomorrow will be at 79, low 55. Winds will be from the north northwest at 8 to 10 miles per hour. And for Saturday, we can expect a high of 79, low of 57, mostly sunny skies. Winds will be from the north northeast at 5 to 7 miles per hour. 20% chance of precipitation after uh, 1 o'clock on Saturday afternoon, and then 60% Saturday night leading into Sunday morning and should uh, end around noon to 1 o'clock on Sunday. Uh, now to the algae report. Today's predominant pollens are at a low for ragweed, grasses, and elms. Friday, the pollen levels will rise to a moderate range, and that will be due to the dry air ahead of this front. And now to the tropics. The first area we're monitoring is that low pressure system I talked about a little bit earlier. Uh, this low pressure system is now in best 97, which resides about 200 miles north of Hispaniol. This system is still showing uh, shower, uh, disorganized shower activity, and it's still some chances of this system taking on some tropical characteristics over the next day or two. But this system is currently moving to the northwest and then, be, then eventually be to the northeast as this front, front will pick it up uh, towards the latter part of this week. In 48 hours, this system has about 20% chance of development, and in five days, about 20% of development also. 
And the second area is this monsoon, monsoon trough, identified with a white circle. This system is still lingering out there. I'm just glad it didn't happen whenever the waters were a little bit warmer. We might have some issues of some tropical formation spinning off of this thing. Uh, this system is uh, right in the central Atlantic. It stretches all the way from the coast of Africa all the way to the uh, east, uh, western Atlantic. Excuse me. Some of the convection is isolated, but that's uh, uh, the Sahara uh, air layer and the shear is keeping anything from developing out of this system, and, and plus the little bit cooler waters. I'm Bill Abernathy, Polk County Emergency Management from the Emergency Operations Center. I'll see you back here tomorrow on PGTV. Back to you, Brian. Thanks, Billy. PGTV is Polk County's government access cable TV channel. Our programming allows residents easier access to county government meetings and local programming. Now, one such program is Encounter Central Florida's Polk. Polk County is surrounded by incredible natural environment, world famous sites, and great family destinations. One such place is Streamsong, Polk County's premier golf and spa resort. So two, three years ago, we went out to figure out who are those extraordinary golf architects. And it wasn't too hard to find. Uh, Tom Doak, Bill Corr, Ben Crenshaw, renowned uh, golf course architects really at the top of their game uh, in the industry. And we approached them to come to this area and see if they would fall in love with this same uh, landscape that we thought would be ideal for uh, two 36, or rather two 18 hole golf courses. And sure enough, when they came onto the site, they were just taken away by the natural beauty. Uh, the homes, there are no home sites. There's no structures or anything that you would resemble uh, as far as a traditional Florida uh, landscape for golf. And for that reason, they jumped at the chance. They saw in the simplicity of this raw, wild uh, landscape something that they could craft and really move uh, two golf courses into a national scene. And that's truly what has happened in the course of a year and a half of opening uh, Streamsong Red and Streamsong Blue. Uh, we have taken a concept, an idea, the purity of golf, uh, taking it back as uh, deep in our tradition and authentic golf as we could. And our customer has absolutely uh, become our cheerleaders in championing what normally is considered average looking golf and have moved the, the uh, experience of golf to a, a national level. And, and it's also very natural. You know, the, the philosophy that we wanted our guests to go away with was that when you're in a room or you're in a business meeting or when you're here you can just reach right out of the building and touch nature and then you know we thought hard about what what is real nature here in this place and we didn't want to overlay this place with a heavy hand of kind of, of landscape architecture the landscape here is native and it's not that we've just planted a whole bunch of native materials or had some xeriscaping philosophy. We want the actual Florida landscape to come right up to the building. I mean, everything you see maybe in the view of this camera, um, with very few exceptions, is just here. I mean, we, did, we planted hardly anything. We just didn't disturb more than we needed to. And, and we want the real Florida come, to come right up to where our guests are. And that... That's going to do it for today's show. As a reminder to keep current with programs or progress in the county, you can check out the brand new Polk County website at polk-county.net or even follow us on Facebook and Twitter or check out the Polk County YouTube channel. I invite you to join us Friday as we continue our trip down the Heritage Trail and get a highlight from Sports Central, just to name a few. For Polk Today, I'm Brian Lacey, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.